Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we are looking at the NBA prize picks place for Friday, January the 19th. Uh, didn't have a video for a few days, but we are back to look at this NBA slate. So let's go ahead and get started. I got five picks in this video, so let's not waste any more time. As always, if you enjoyed the videos, appreciate it for the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out Twitter. Link is in the description at the DFS process there. If you're into DraftKings FanDuel lineups, check out the website link there as well. First pick that we are looking at today, we got about, I think, a seven-game slate tonight. Uh, first pick taken is Anthony Davis. I think he's going to absolutely dominate. The interior of Brooklyn, they are undersized with Claxton at the center position. Uh, and I think Davis, the way that he's been playing, um, not only been scoring and rebounding well, but his assist numbers have been off the charts. 9-5-11 last three games. If, some, if he happens to have another game similar to one of those, you're probably going to see him easily hit this line. Wouldn't be surprised if he drops, you know, 30, 15 rebound game against the Nets. So that's my first pick. Uh, the second pick I'm taking is Joel Embiid. I'm taking a lot of superstars in this five pick. I'm taking him over 33 and a half points. You know, the Orlando Magic are dealing with a lot of injuries right now with Wagner out. Uh, they're missing some of their other. They're missing their center, Carter. Missing some of their guards. Uh, so with all those injuries... Especially in the interior, I think Embiid going up against Batadze for much of the game should just dominate. There's not much to be said. Batadze's not going to have much resistance. He's not going to offer much resistance to Embiid. Anything Embiid, one of those games where he drops 40 and uh, probably gets a lot done early in the game and just you know pretty sweat-free, I would say, is probably a good chance of him easily hitting over this line. For our third pick, I am taking an under in that game, taking an under on the opposite side, taking uh, Paolo Bancaro under his uh, points and assists numbers at 31 and a half. I just don't really see him having a good game here against the Sixers. Like I said, the Magic dealing with a lot of injury. Sixers are a decent defensive team, pretty good defensive team. He's going to not have easy pass to the basket with MB being there, blocking the rim. And you know, unless he has just a crazy good shooting game from the outside, uh, Sixers defense should try to focus on slowing him down because if slow down Bancaro, you know, you're probably going to have Suggs be the next guy that's going to try to take over the offense. They just don't have a ton of options right now. So for that reason, just taking an under on Bancaro. He hasn't really got done recently, and uh, the matchup is not the easiest. Fourth pick, we're taking Kevin Durant. Taking him over. His point total is low at 25.5. Rebounds only 5.5. The matchup against the Pelicans should be fast-paced, high-scoring to give me over 31.5 points and rebounds for Kevin Durant. Uh, last few games, hasn't had like a, a great scoring game. I mean, he's been decent, but in this game where you probably see one of the higher totals of the slates, uh, and I think Durant's just going to... In the last few games, you've also seen Grayson Allen just kind of go off. He had nine threes last game, so when that happens, um, nobody else is going to really have a great offensive game. They're just going to continue feeding him the ball. I think it's time for one of these other guys. One of these other guys to have just a a really good game, and I think Durant is probably next up on that list. So those are my four picks. Uh, we know that uh, Weminyama is out today for the Spurs, so you could look to their side if you're interested. But they do have a lot of guys that they could play off the bench, so it's not like one guy is going to really benefit. Although I think Collins would be the best. He should be back today, hopefully. Uh, but in this one, my last pick here. I think got a number of ways to go. Uh, I'm going to be taking Kyler Hero. I'm not going to take his points, PRA. I'm taking his uh, rebounds and assist line. That's at 9.5. He's been a much better job this year of, of assisting. And uh, rebounding, too, has been good numbers for him. Matchup is against Atlanta. It's going to be another game that's going to be high scoring, lots of possessions. To hopefully get some assist opportunities. In the last few games, the scoring has been... Up and down for him recently, so I think I just feel a little bit better about taking the 9.5 rebounds and assists instead of taking his over PRA, especially with, you know, with them getting healthier with Butler there and uh, Duncan is having good games scoring and you got Bam producing, so there's not like they're really banged up, but Hero's going to have the ball in his hands a lot. You're not getting much production out of Lowry's. I think he's still going to give you good assist lines and you know he's a decent rebounder for a guard as well, so... That's what I got. Those are my five picks for this evening. Over PRA, Anthony Davis. Over points, Joel Embiid. For under points and assists for 
Paolo Bancaro, over points, rebounds for Kevin Durant, and over points, I mean, over rebounds and assists for Tyler Hero. Best of luck if you are using. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.